the bat. Big this strike. is the future. Baby. All right, welcome to another one. We are on another trip. This time we're going to Dirk Hardog Island and it's going to be a big one. I'm super excited to take you guys with us. We're going out for 17 days. We just drove into false entrance last night. We set up camp down there and then uh, we're probably going to spend the day here and then head over to Steep Point. Eight guys in four cars, uh, 17 days away on the road is it's quite a long time. We're gonna have enough food, enough water, uh, enough fuel for the generators, and enough fuel for the cars as well. It's super remote, you can't get anything out here, so you have to bring everything yourself. Book long trips, uh, mainly for the weather, and so you can get the weather windows. If you do short trips, five, six days, you know, a couple of times you might fluke it, and you get that good weather, and uh, you get some good fish out. But, a lot of the times with these short trips you can just get clogged by the swell, you get bad winds and, uh, and, you, and you can't sit there and ride it out because you just don't have enough time. Whereas when we go on for 17 days, we get bad weather, we just sit back and ride it out. we we'll wait for those good weather windows to come and, and that's how we've got our fish over the years. Alright, I am super excited to show with you guys the West Coast Salt Woodies. They're finally here. It's a collab between myself and Ambition Apparel. You can get them direct from my website, westcoastsalt.net, or you can also get them from the Mission Apparel website, missionapparel.com.au. We've just left uh, False Entrance. It's been bloody pissing down all morning and all night. Heavy rain, so everything's soaked. The car's drenched. We've got mud everywhere. But uh, we're just sending up the track now. We're heading to Steep Point, Shelter Bay. We're going to camp up again and uh, get ready for this barge of the morning. Good morning. Today is the day that we finally put our car on a boat. We've got four cars, so it's going to take a while. We've got a bit of a big trip ahead of us. So right now I'm in Shelter Bay at Steep Point. First light. We camped just down there last night, right where the barge is going to pick us up. This morning, about 7 o'clock or 7.30, the barge is going to come over and take us over one by one. One car at a time, four cars. It's probably about like a 10 minute trip over. But uh, with those four cars, it'll take like a good hour and a half, maybe even two hours, 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back, plus loaded in the cars. From there, we've got a pretty big trip ahead of us. We're gonna drive right to the tip of Dirk Hartog Island. So we stop at the homestead first, get a bit of a coffee, and then uh, from there, we're gonna be making our way right to the top of the island. It's probably gonna take a good three and a half to four hours, but a uh, big trip. But uh, And then once we get there, we've gotta set everything up. So basically today, we might get a fish in, but um, 
it's pretty much just a setup day for us. So uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, let's get down there and get into it, eh? We are finally here. It probably took a good four hours from the homestead. We really took it easy, but uh, we finally got here and we've been setting up all Arvo. We've got two camper trailers and the shack as well. So we've utilized the whole lot. We just set our camper up. We've got a mad setup, which I'll run you through probably a bit later on. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get rigged up and get ready for tomorrow. The boys have already had a quick cast now. They've already got into one Mackie. So that's gonna be dinner for tonight. And uh, yeah, a bit more setup for us. Get into it tomorrow. And uh, I might even get the drone up now and, and show you guys. Uh, it's awesome weather at the moment. We've got a few good days of good weather. There's going to be a little bit of swell, but we'll deal with it. But uh, man, it's bloody good to be here. We're finally here. What a big trek. Alright, morning one. We've uh, all split up. We're headed down a different ledge. Me and Chook. Chook's over there. He set the trap. And we got Ken and Zane on that ledge over there. And uh, the other boys are back at camp. So we've all split up, cover a bit of ground. Let's see if we can get the bloody bite. It's uh, pretty good cons. Nice light easterly wind. And uh, the swell's right down. So we're frothing, man. We should be able to get a bite out of this. You're away. Yep. Oh, we've got a double. Always the way. You get a double. We've got Zaino running from the other ledge to get the gaff for us. Seen it bite. Missed the hooks. Worked the bait for a sec. And then it grabbed it again. Stop your right there. Shark mackerel. mackerel. Shark mackerel, don't worry. I'm shark mackerel. Yeah, shark. 
I'm gonna put him on the ledge. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the gap. It's working through a few shark mackerel schools. So hopefully the next bait will get a nice bari. Not quite the target species. Standard Dirk hard on yeah. sharking. One of many. Kenny wasn't hungry enough. Yeah. Sharks were hungrier. Yeah, they can have it, eh? Still got a bit of meat off it. Yeah. Not big enough. Yeah, 12.7 left. 12 kg. Oh. What about a good fish, eh? Yeah. Well, probably said cover at 18, eh? Yeah. 18 easy. 12.7 on that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. The one you lost might have been fucking big, right? Yeah. Alright. Gotten back to camp, chilled for a bit, <laughs> went down to the ledge, and it looks bloody good. The swell's not too bad, and the wind's like going in the right direction, so it's pretty easy access and egress from the water. So I thought, bite the bullet, jump in, and just have a quick look and see what's around and see if it's worth fishing the bottom here or whether we keep moving and find somewhere else. But um, yeah, let's jump in and see if the sharks are uh, friendly or whether they want to have a yarn. Easy. They're gonna be doing, aren't they? Pretty hard to get in and out, to be honest. Carnage. Uh, nice quality on the spear out of the camp. It's probably in about 10 meters. Um, probably got down about 18 at the best. But um, yeah, he's gonna be dinner. Bloody stoked. And how's that for the end of the day? What a crack of sunset. So it was a pretty bloody good day. It was super sharky. We got, uh, there was a lot of sharkings going on. But uh, to get in the water at the end of the day was awesome. That means a lot for me. I uh, love the diving. So to be able to get in uh, this early in the trip, I'm super stoked. And uh, it was good to just map it out. Uh, only one small fish, but I'm bloody happy with that, man. We're going to cook that up for dinner tonight. Suck's so going to turn that into a curry. And uh, yeah, it was just good to get down there and have a look around and see what's there and um, get my, get my, stretch out the lungs. It was good to do a bit deeper. Um, been stuck on some shallow water for a while. So just then I got sort of 17, 18 meters. So pretty bloody happy with that. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be much the same. We're probably gonna go to the same ledge, split up again, and then um, see what bloody happens. But for now, we're just gonna take this sunset in, man. That is absolutely cracker. Where would you rather be?
Uh, first light bike got absolutely lifted on the snook, but sharks were all over it, eh? They absolutely blitzed it. So not losing the lot. That was uh, that's number one down. Let's re rig and go again. <sighs> zipped, zipped. This is the game we're in. The rig that I'm using, four hooks. And at the moment, I'll be using a gar for bait. So I just ran a snook, but as that sun comes up, I'm gonna run a gar. I always rig through the belly. Like that. And then I run a bit of ghost cotton over it. You don't have to use the ghost cotton, that's just personal preference. A lot of the other boys here don't use it, but um, I've always used it, and I just think it neatens up the bait a bit more, so. Is what you end up with. Loop a line like that with this grommet. Bring that grommet over. Gotta pull it over. So that way, if I want to let gas out and put more gas in, I can. That's on 20 pound. Send that out. About 20 meters of a running swivel that goes to the main rig. Running swivel on the main line. And boom, we're ready to get lifted. Rig number two. It's gonna get absolutely lifted. Can't get disheartened by the sharks out here. It's just part of the game. Lifted! Yep. Put a bit of drag. Not a bad one, brother. Still fish? Yep, good fish, brother. He had some good runs. Still out pretty wide there, brother. Wild to go, yeah, no, wide drift. Got some... no, no, no. Bit, of, bit of freeze ball, bit of freeze ball. Yeah, yeah, You're no, in that yeah. reef. Got sucked. Coming back out. Yep, yep, out. All right, go pump. He's really deep. Yeah, I think it must be spell hooked. Oh, oh, he's back, backing off. Yep, he's coming out, he's coming yep. out. Spell hook, G. I can't see. Do you want me to offset? Got him. Got him. Free spool. Free spool. Yeah. Not a bad one, G. Backing it up. Yeah, nice work. Nice one. Nice one, yeah. Yeah, brother. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Healthy, fat fish. Yeah, as you can see, brother. See, that's why I was like, foul hook. Nice fish, but foul hook, you know. Yeah. Felt a lot bigger than what he was. Sideway. Crack a go on the gas. Bit of a battle, bit of a foul hooking. Just producing the goods. Been a bit of a hot bite. A few fish out now. The boys had a few on spin. We've had a couple on gas. Yeah, it's a real nice, healthy bari here. Look at the colours lighting up in the sunlight. Just like that. Oh. Got my chromie back. Got boosted on the send out. Yeah. That's what I've seen. I've seen the strike, brother. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bring him up. 
Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you just. Not on the rock? No, you hung up. Uh, are you you're free? You're free, you're free, bro. Yeah, you see your fish? Yeah. Guide him right in front of me, G. What up? Got him? Yep. Free spool, G. Woo! You're in free spool, brother. Yeah, a bit of thing at the end, didn't he? Yep. He over. Coming over. Coming over, gas still straight. Oh. Yep. Yeah, the bloody boys. Nice little bar on the gas. Probably been shark. I think I've been shark four times. This is uh, one on spin and three on the gas. Slid this one out. I was just actually just putting the bait out and it bit me on the way out. So um, pretty close fight. It was right there. No sharks on it. They let it through. Bloody stoked. She's only small. But uh, that'll be our dinner tonight for sure. Chook on the gaff. He put up a bit of a fight down low there, but uh, we got him through. Absolutely stoked. That nice little bari. Gonna fill it up now. And then uh, we got the angler in the car. We basically don't really wait too long, otherwise it just gets sunbaked. So clean it up quick, get on the angle, and then uh, get into the next fish. Two slabs. Both on spin. 18 and a 17, eh? Yeah. The fish, I don't know. You're getting sharks coming down the <laughs> Look at him trying to feed on it. Barry, eh? Barry on the let out. Slow morning. I'm without my fresh new hoodie. West Coast salt. Just keep keeping me warm. Yeah, boy. Sharks! He's still green. Oh, shark! The sharks don't want it. <laughs> oh, man, Chuck, we're working night shift. It's almost uh, quarter to six. We'll uh, show you what we've got to deal with each day getting in and out. spot today and split up over two ledges so we've got the full crew down here the boys have left the main ledge and they come down here so we had a pretty good productive day yesterday two good fish on oh, i think we got three fish out on spin uh one fish on the gas and then we got two out on the gas so pretty bloody productive so the whole crew's come down here today to try and give it a good session and a good slay another good day of of wind we've got half day of wind today and the swell's quite down as well so good conditions Talk shit and get bit, baby. All right, back down, ready to redeploy. Gar for bait. Boys just got one on spin, about 15. And uh, yeah, they're feeding, man, it's on. Let's get hit. Yeah. It's on with the spin, eh? We got saddle boat. Sharky. Looks sharky. Nah, nah. Might be. Nah, it's a Mac. It's a Mac. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh. 
Bit more drag on him, G. Bit more drag on him. Yeah, because he hasn't sizzled, you know? Nah. He just came right in. Oh, pulled hooks. Yeah. Oh. He's pulled a lot of hooks at this place. Not a bad fish, Jay. Very good fish. Still good, I can feel all the lunges. Look at the tips, eh? Yeah. Just that big propel, brother. It's a solid fish, man. Oh, yeah, let's go second run. Second run, G. Run number two. Want him slightly up, up, a bit more up. Yeah. The water real nice yet. Oh, this is a solid fish, bro. Big second run. There it is. Oh, oh top G. Yep, we can see him. He's going all right, I reckon. It's like him real up on the top, brother. Yep. Just try and get it straight in. It's a good fish, bro. Very good fish. Another one? Yeah, four. Oh. Reach out to you. Like, good? Yeah, brother. Freeze ball? Freeze ball. Yeah. Nice and slow. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, Just kicking yeah. around a bit. Yep, yep. Nice nah, stretch, all good, brother. all good. Nice stretch, boys. Yeah, I pulled one ah. hard on the... Ah. Alright, we're going to walk him back slow. Straight into that pull. One. Keep that yeah. side good. That's 20, G. Yeah, that's 20. That's 20. Yeah, the bloody boys! Yes! Oh, awesome fight on the spin. Two huge runs. Talk shit, get bit, baby. Straight out. Let's get some photos of this bad boy. Yeah, yeah boys, this is where dreams are made of. On the spinner pulled hook, one about 12 kilo. Yeah, and then this one, absolute sizzle. Oh, yeah. What's everyone fish? guessing? Yeah, it's 21, I reckon, no drama. 21? No oh. drama. 20.5, what are you calling sock? I, I said 20. Did I just say 20.5? Yeah. Yeah. See, no, right. Tail was off the ground then for me. Yeah. Let's do the game, what do we got? 20.6. Yeah, that's 20. Well done, G. Cheers, G. Got the beer for you. Cheers, brother. To Carnot Island, where dreams are made of, boys. Uh, processing it up, getting ready for the angle. Brought the cry back at this time as well, so straight away. Hurry, Tom. Get yeah. back into um, technique. Last one here, boys. Primo. That's what you end up with. 20 kilo fish, couple of kilo slab of fillet.
watching the water for about a good hour now and it looks pretty bloody good so thinking about getting in water and a bit of a paddle what I actually do is I just set up I set up a float line from the surface from up here and if I catch any fish the boys just chuck it out to me that way I can get the fish out of the water quick and uh, I'm not swimming around with dead fish and uh, I also use it to get my gun in and out so that it's pretty it's pretty wild getting in and out as well so if I don't have a gun it's a lot easier to get in and out so the boys just hoist it up for me and uh, that saves a lot of dicking around but uh let's see if there's anything down there dive there not huge fish but bloody good eating Spanish flag probably one of my favorite and ball chin groper so awesome viz down there couple of sharks but they really weren't worried about me so that was good 
Both of these came out of around 12 meters. Probably the deepest I got to is about 15, 16. But uh, crack of viz, man. Heaps of baldies about that size down there. But uh, I only need one, so I just took that. Um, yeah, that's dinner, baby. We're on. But uh, good to get in there. Pretty easy getting in and out. Didn't have any problems. Sharks, no worries. Happy days. Glory days, baby. Dirk Hardog Island. Good morning, everyone. We're on day seven of the trip. And uh, we woke up and the swell is pumping. We've um, we struggled to get a weather update. We just about can't get weather out here. We're just on the long range forecast which we got before we left. So it's seven days old. And I uh, did say the swell was coming up today and, and that's what it's bloody done. So we're gonna just uh, ride it out and see how it goes. But we'll probably get um, maybe a few hours of fishing in here. We've all come down to the same spot again and split up over two ledges. And uh, we're thinking of probably doing about half day here and then moving up the island and trying to find some ground for some demersals. Shifting it up and just having a look for some new ground. But uh, we've got a definite bit of swell to deal with this morning. Makes gaffing fish, makes fighting fish harder, gaffing fish harder. And uh, even cooking them, but yeah, it's absolutely pumping. But still, still fishable, so that's, uh, that's a bonus. But uh, woo! Yeah, I don't know if you can see that in the background, but she's getting wild. So uh, we're going to try and get another weather update tonight. Uh, it's been hard to get reception out here. Normally we've got a bit of a honey hole that normally produces, but at the moment it's not. So we might go down there after dark tonight and try and get an update, but we're pretty sure there's some rain coming and a bit more swell. So uh, we're going to have to tackle that as it comes. There's the 50 pounders. Huge, might be just a All good bruds coming in. Yeah, mackerel. Just a skin shot, G. Just have to come up, just put it in freeze ball. Freeze ball. Skin shot, yeah. It's got to come real slowly. Not a good shot, G. It's all right, take your time. 
I'm gonna let a bit of line it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, G. All right. Just yeah, just yeah. Ah, that's all right. Yeah, sorry, brother. No stress. This just means his tail might be a bit wounded. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the. I've yeah. got. Oh, yep. Yep. You got him? Yep, free spool, G. Free spool, brother. Yep. Third attempt, better for Talk shit, get a bit, baby. There was a big battle in the swell. It's bloody hard to gaff. First one was in the tail and it fell out. Second one, he nailed it, pulled it up. Uh, let's get some photos of this thing, man. Talk shit, get a bit, baby. Good Mac on the chrome. The swell's pumping. It's pretty wild, it's been pretty quiet. And then uh, got this bad boy. Bit of a battle on the um, on the gaff. It had one big last run. Suck went to gaff it and it got in the tail. We tried to pull it up and it fell off like I did free spool. It dropped back down, went for another little run and then uh, Suck nailed it on the second one. But probably haven't got a good fish on spin for a while, so pretty stoked with that. Good way to open up the day. Absolutely stoked. Absolutely frothing with this fish. Getting one on spin, it's like twice as hard as the gas, so it's pretty rewarding getting a fish like this, especially the big swell. So I'm gonna prep this up now. And uh, we talked about having fish and chips. We're gonna have it last night, but we got back too late. So we're gonna do it tonight. So uh, this is it. This is the one. So that is what we're left with. Primo slabs. We keep the, the inside there, the belly. We keep that for bait, for the reef fish. Uh, that's what we'll be doing later on this afternoon. Once we finish this session, we we'll go get some reefies. Wild. The swell is absolutely pumping. We're on the high tide now, so that's when it's actually the worst. The water's at the highest. If you look behind me, it's just, it's just getting bigger and bigger. So um, I'm extraction mode, super stoked to get that fish out. Probably just gonna wrap it up and, and move on and get onto the next thing. We might go dry up the island, try and find some higher cliffs, and see if we can get some reefies. But uh, yeah, it's super hard to catch fish in this swell, eh? That, that one on the gaff, it was absolutely nuts, eh? It's just uh, one minute's over there, one minute's over there. Real hard to get a gaff on it, so super stoked to get that in. Bit of luck and a little bit of, little bit of side of skill. Tuck into some reefies. Boggy ground. Stop absolutely sending it. Strap it in. I think we've made it out of the boggy section. Oh yeah. Dinner. Fuck wild. Yeah, it's yours now. There you got him. Yeah, you got it. Oh, he goes slow, he's just in. Yeah, the boys. First time on Dirk Island. Got myself a nice ranking. Yeah, yeah, 
cast after cast. Fifth rig of the day. Big, big cod. Walk behind us. I'll just get him straight down to Yeah. Two waves coming. Yeah. Bit of pressure on it. Yeah, yeah, Some guide the gaff behind me, make sure the rope's coming. Pretty, pretty wild body spot where we're fishing. We've lost a few at the cliff gap. The swell was pumping, so it's hard, so hard to get them in. We're only getting the small ones up for now, but. All right, so we've wrapped that session up. We're sending it back to camp and uh, filling up these fish, get it cleaned up, get a feed going.